And a very good evening to you. I'm Jennifer Sanders. Well, this week, hospitals across Texas are expected to get the first shipment of a new COVID-19 antibody therapy treatment from Eli Lilly. Now, work from youth researchers at UT Austin is helping develop many of the leading vaccines and therapies like that one. KXAN's Alyssa Gord explains why they say there won't just be one silver bullet when it comes to treatment. By now, you're probably familiar with what a coronavirus looks like. All those things sticking out from the surface, those are spike proteins. And bioscience researchers at UT have been studying them since 2013. Now companies trying to create COVID-19 vaccines and antibody therapies are using UT research to target those spikes. Yeah, we, we know the spike is the, the weak point that we want to target. But Professor Jason McClellan says if a spike has a mutation, that can stop COVID-19. COVID-19 treatments from working, and with the virus spreading globally, there are lots of chances for it to mutate, which is why this week many UT researchers kept returning to the same point. I would think the winners in this field on the antibody side are those who are making cocktails. A cocktail, meaning the treatment contains more than one way to target spike proteins, making it harder for the virus to escape. The researchers say cocktails will also help when COVID-19 develops resistance to antiviral therapies. We've all gotten pretty good at making cocktails in 2020, and I think <laughs> we have to be, uh, apply that to, uh, to um, antivirals as, as well, right? It seems these scientists may have a little time on their side as they try to stop COVID-19 from outsmarting treatments. It's mutating relatively slowly, that's the good news. Alyssa Gord, KXAN News. And UT researchers note that while there are several treatments for COVID-19 in development, very few of those are cocktails.